hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with my dress up darling episode number 11 reaction okay the previous episode um it was broken up into two parts the first part was them actually completing the pictures you know like they snapped the black lobelia and um uh, Xion's, Xion's cosplay uh, and also so many sons as well and they kind of did all of that there was some like pretty sick pictures they were able to take and Black Lobela looked amazing all of them looked so amazing and by the end of it you know Juju kind of talks with uh, Gojo and she's like all right I'm going to pay you like you know for everything that was needed this and that and uh, yeah and in the end uh, the pictures come out great and it was a successful cosplay so that was the first part. The next part, we get a new cosplay character, Veronica. And as I said, Veronica has been my personal favorite from uh, the opening. I've been seeing her from, obviously, everyone has been seeing her in the openings. So, but I feel like this will be a short little cosplay because the preparation was already done. Uh, like, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the clothing was already made. And, um, like, you know, Marin came and cosplayed it. And she looked fantastic. Uh, but Gojo was a little bit uncomfortable, you know, because uh, the cosplay showed a little bit too much skin. So he was not comfortable with that. And later on, they go shopping for Gojo. Gojo, like, you know, kind of wears, like, you know, tries on some dress, this and that. Uh, like, you know, a little outing. They do a little date, you can say. And while coming back, Gojo is like, I'm sorry, I might not be able to do this with you. Uh, Veronica's cosplay. Obviously, mine was kind of anxious. And mine was like, why? Like... And then Gojo's like, um, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> and Marin started teasing him. And she said, like, maybe I'm going to snap a few pictures and, you know, uh, send it to you. <laughs> that was something. So, yeah, I really hope we get to see more of Veronica's cosplay this episode. Uh, this another cosplay is still left for her to do. The little devil girl, I think, uh, which we see in the opening. So I'm guessing we're also going to see that probably this episode or the final episode which is episode 12 so anyways let's get started with this episode this is episode number 11 of my dress up darling so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go okay Aquarium? What? Manga cafe? Oh, okay, that's a manga cafe. Okay. Yeah, and I feel like they also have like computers and laptops and stuff. You can watch anime as well. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, look at him sweat. The air conditioner is full on, but still he's sweating. Now, the opening will not be shown because of copyright. Okay. So, oh my god. So basically what's going to happen, I'm guessing we're going to... see the final cosplay, either in this episode or the next one. Which... I feel like these cosplays are kind of you kind know, of short little cosplays because the previous two cosplays, uh, Black Lobelia and um, uh, Shizukutan, Shizukutan's cosplay, these took so many episodes, but I guess they were introducing all the characters. Yeah, makes sense, you know. They were introducing all the characters and yeah, we were kind of getting used to them. But from here onwards, I'm guessing the cosplays will be short or something. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, this girl. This is a, this is a little devil, I think. A devil girl. Okay, let's see. I'm currently at a love. What? Whoa, what's the title? 
<laughs> oh boy. Well, because it's a manga cafe. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Me wait. <laughs> Oh, there we go. The oh, succubus. Yeah, that's a succubus. <laughs> Wait, what's what's with that abbreviation? Yeah, just like this anime. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Half pigtail. Oh, dude, <laughs> dude. Lil skin. Okay, that's. <laughs> yeah. Probably no. I think probably because there are heights. Oh, because of that. Oh, look at his face. <laughs> She's like, it's like, what the hell are you talking about? Oh boy, she is going to. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's kill. Oh no. Oh no. She's going to just. Huh? <laughs> oh my god, we are not going to get more of Veronica. I'm sad. But still, let's see what this one... Wait, you don't know that? Oh no. Ah. Ugh. Is this a friendly succubus, you know? No, no, this is slice of life. Yeah. <laughs> Where have I heard this voice? She herself wants the same. <laughs> Milk chocolate. What type of innuendo is this? Like, oh my god, these mangas. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep, that's slice of life. Oh no. Oh. That's true. Yeah, and this Paul doesn't even have an anime. So maybe they have some special artwork or something, you know, like. Uh... 
Okay, you can just improvise. <laughs> Look at him. You're like, oh, that was good. That was a good story. I can't with that abbreviation. Hmm. What? Jinbe? Oh, it has a... <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I feel like this is the title. The title. That's happening. I pro why are they here? Okay. Oh no. Yeah, that's why they're going there. Wow. Okay. And that's how he's here. Wait, she she doesn't know that? Does she also not know that this is No, she knows. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh no! Yo, this girl is just... <laughs> no animation, look at that! Wow. Okay, she realized it later on. Okay, that's why she was a little bit surprised. <laughs> hmm. It's all black and white. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, calm down. I think uh... what? Wait, is that a thing? Okay. Oh. <laughs> He's just He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you know what? Let's just like you know like snap the pictures and just leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> He's petrified now. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Yeah. Oh no 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 stop. Stop there. Stop. Yeah. Stop. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Wow. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> Ow. Oh no. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, he has already made it. Have you switched off the television? Hmm. Yeah, that's a really cute outfit. Oh. Oh, okay. He's in work mode now. <laughs> there you go. Just sleeping. I changed a lot. Okay. Yeah, he didn't know what to do, like, it's based on imagination. It's fine, like, it's, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that makes it fun. And <clears throat> yep, <laughs> ah, oh, my God, what? What? Oh my god. Um. <laughs> okay, you know what? I should stop getting surprised because yeah, this is pretty much Marin. She she's just Oh wow, this looks amazing. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> Second time. <laughs> ah, but still, it's it's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, hypnosis. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I feel like if this is on put on social media, this will blow up. Oh no! Oh no! It's okay. <laughs> Lullaby.
Oh no, it, is she going to, is, I think she, he's, she's going to say like, oh, you sit down, I'm going to. Oh, there you go. <laughs> He's in work mode now, so he's not embarrassed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, okay. Really good. Okay, he, he's kind of coming out of work mode now. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. All right, okay, it's time to go. <coughs> um, <coughs> they forgot that for a second. Oh no, oh no. Yep, he's out of work mode now. Oh no. What, what the hell is happening in this episode? Yo! Oh! Um... <laughs> uh. Um, go, go, Joe. Oh, oh, my God, what? God damn. Yes, all right. Obviously, that, that's definitely going to happen. Oh my god. Oh. Well, whoa. The way she's moving, look at that. My god. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, his eye is bloodshot! <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my god, this episode was... Was was just i i don't know what to say what what was that okay wow um all right i guess um like you know what i feel like like this is one thing like you know like uh, like edgy animes they are able to kind of you know, like like some different scenes are able to make you, you know, like kind of like oh what what is this like you know kind of like you know like 
those type of scenes like that 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 was like that's like an fg anime while there's like certain like you know animes that can bring out an unusual type of an atmosphere which is not necessarily like you know too edgy like this 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 whole thing was like you know like she was wearing pretty covering clothes in this episode but the atmosphere was something which they were able to create which made this so much more um what can i say uh uh like the, the atmosphere was a lot more sens sensual yeah i think that's what you call it and this atmosphere uh, like you know i've seen this in a very less amount of anime which they are able to pull off and i feel like this episode was able to do that and um i'll be honest here i feel like i'm, I'm sure like the manga that's the end um that the manga all definitely had this uh like you know chapter as well but i feel like the anime would probably like especially these type of like you know uh episodes the um, anime would be definitely be able to adapt it in a more um better way than how it is in the manga because in the anime you can actually you know like <clears throat> see the characters moving you know the color like you know the colors the the sound you know the the music the like you know them kind of like you know just breathing you know that that breathing uh like you know sound just like gojo breathing uh, marine breathing both at, like you know at the same time like these type of uh, like you know the things you won't be able to experience them in a manga but like you know an anime can completely transform that <coughs> part and make it into <coughs> a more better you know like a uh, thing and i i feel like they were able to nail this in this episode i don't know how the manga was you know but i'm pretty sure that the manga also had this part but i can probably say that uh you know like with the audio and visual and you know the animations um i think that the anime was probably properly like you know able to add, like you know animate this whole section and was able to make this so better so damn i was not expecting that now <coughs> Okay, well, one thing I have to say, as I said, like, you know, I was kind of waiting for Veronica's cosplay and I'm kind of sad that they properly weren't, who did not show us, like, you know, I, I was expecting at least one picture, you know, like, you know, after uh, Marin cosplayed it and you know, snapped a picture, I was expecting at least one picture seeing her in that cosplay. I don't know. I, I You know what? I'm going to probably go and check the manga out if they had that part or not or the if the manga also did not have that part like i feel like the adaptation uh i don't know like i i'm not like you know hearing anyone say that the adaptation is rushed or anything so i think the adaptation is pretty faithful so i'm guessing the manga probably also did not have this part but i was really expecting a little bit of you know veronica's cosplay unfortunately that was not here um i'm a little bit sad but <clears throat> yeah we move on nothing you can do about it um so this episode obviously the title itself was you know like <laughs> i was like okay like something wild is going to happen in this episode and uh, yeah it did so first we see them in uh, a manga cafe uh they were like you know they were like uh mine was uh, showing gojo about the different stuff and how you can you know read mangas and stuff and like obviously like, and I, I don't know about anything about manga cafes but from animes and everything that i've like you know and visual novels that i've played um i have a pretty much rough idea about what it is like so basically it's like a you know place where there's a lot of mangas and there's like little compartments or booths i don't know which has like one computer i think which i'm guessing the computer has a lot of animes and mangas preloaded into it or something like that and people like you know just it's like a normal cafe you can just order stuff and even spend the night in there as well like, you know because i've seen a lot of animes and manga where uh like you know like uh the like characters run away from their houses and they'll spend the night in the manga cafe or something like that you know like that whole thing so it's something like that i guess so <clears throat> you, know, you know like that that's that anime um uh, charlotte i think that was the name yeah charlotte um there's like there was like a one part where um <clears throat> i forgot the main character's name he okay this will be a spoiler but i, I won't say anyways he runs away because of, of you know some hardships in his life i'm not going to spoil it 
um and then he kind of goes to the like in you know, a manga cafe and like we see him just eating there you know like they even like you know deliver pizza and stuff i think like you know they they gave him a pizza he was like eating pizza and like you know watching anime and just reading manga doing stuff like that and spending his time over there uh overnight just staying over there so that's a manga cafe as far as i know and <clears throat> that's what she, she explains to gojo and she's like all right let me bring some manga she brings the manga which is called i am a mega best selling high school student light novel uh, author that has a succubus thirsting for me every night and i don't know what to do oh boy and yeah as always the <laughs> titles are long as hell <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so <clears throat> it's a cute little manga you know like those mangas i think no I'm, i was going to say this is a four comma this is not a four comma isn't it you know this this style or is it like i, I know what a four comma is it's kind of like you know different uh parts of the like you know uh chapter has like different short stories like each short story has like four panels i think something like that i think that's why they call it four comma or something like that so I don't know if this was a four comma or not, but it's kind of like a short little stories where like, you know, there's like this succubus girl and this light novel author and it's just like, you know, like them doing cute things. That's basically it. So and it's a slice of life, like, you know, thing. So here mine kind of talks about Liz Kyun and how she's so cute and, you know, like her little twin tails are like just adorable and she would love to cosplay her. And... Um, she's like i would love to cosplay her but i probably shouldn't because i wouldn't be able to pull that off but uh gojo encourages her he's like don't worry you know like i'm sure you'll be able to do it pretty well and as always mine is just so happy after hearing that from gojo <laughs> and uh okay um now here <laughs> gojo asks wait what is a succubus now, I'm not surprised seeing that he doesn't know what a succubus is because you know what, like, I feel like, like, you know, like, us watching anime and, like, you know, reading manga and visual novels, like, you know, what a succubus is, is pretty known to us all. But, I don't know, I feel like if I would actually go to a person uh, who doesn't, like, you know, who has no connection with anime, manga and these type of things and ask that person that, what, do you know what a succubus is? I think they probably won't be able to tell now that I think about it, you know, because at first I was really surprised. I was like, wait a minute, Gojo doesn't know what a succubus is. And then I'm like, okay, like, yeah, they, they, these things are pretty normal for us people, like, you know, who are just involved in anime and manga. But for, like, you know, and some other people who has no connection with anime and manga, if we go and ask them, I guess they won't be able to tell, like, you know, unless and until they are very, like, you know, informative or something like that. So I'm like, yeah, it, it doesn't surprise me. And Gojo has always, like, you know, been extra, um, like, you know, invested in his Hina dolls. So I'm guessing he never got the chance to get to know all of these things. So he asks her, what's a succubus? And as always, you know, like, we all know what a succubus is, as she says, like, they suck up all the semen and kill them. Um, I think it's a little bit different. She, the, the explanation she gives is, uh, they're pervy girl demons that make men have pervy dreams and they suck up all the semen and kill them. Um, yeah, I guess it is kind of like that because, yeah, like, they, they, yeah, they give them dreams, as far as I know, like, uh, succubus and incubus, and, um, they take their vitality, and, which I guess sometimes is in the form of semen, I, I think, so I'm not sure, but, yeah, that was a pretty ac accurate explanation, and, <laughs> And Gojo is like, wait, how is this slice of life then? You know, like, this is not normal. Your normal everyday life. What is this? <laughs> it's kind of disturbing. And I'm like, you know what? He has a point, you know, Gojo has a point. But it's different, you know, like, this, this is a slice of life uh, succubus. <laughs> Which are usually very, I guess, cute and, you know, like, not like that, not that type of dangerous succubus. So this is a slice of life, life succubus. So. 
<laughs> yeah oh my god now we kind of get a little bit of uh, you know like we see the little panels of the characters where we see the sakubas just like you know doing like normal stuff and like cute little like you know her actions like she's like oh i'm going to sing you a lullaby and you're going to sleep she sings a lullaby and then she herself falls asleep and okay that section was i think like had a lot of innuendo this this section okay like there's like this 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 tune was kind of like you know shouting i think the the light novel author gives him her milk chocolate <laughs> he's like hey succubus i'll give you my midnight <laughs> oh my god this uh, yeah this this one was innuendo ish I'll give you my midnight snack, so shut up already. And there's like milk chocolate written. Wow, really? Thank you. They have a milk filling and they're super yummy. Oh my god. I'm gonna go share these with others. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of innuendo filled, but still, it was cute. And Gojo is just like, you know, like, just. Like ah, oh, she he's like oh this is slice of life. I've awakened. <laughs> right now here's where Gojo realizes that since it is a manga, I wouldn't be able to properly and and the art was very simple. I wouldn't be able to properly see like you know what the dress is. Now I I do know like you know these type of like obviously I like I guess every manga has like promotional artwork you know which they, like you know the authors kind of do. So I guess this one didn't have any or something. I don't know. Because usually in those type of like you know, promotional artworks, they're kind of colored and the uh, like you know the dresses are made in detail. But I guess this manga didn't have one, so he was like, "All right, I'll have to improv here, like you know, kind of like just think of it on my own." <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> okay, the, <laughs> the the short form of the light novel is suck i d k. Like I really cannot with this <laughs> short form. Like what? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Anyways, um, so okay, uh, so he comes back home and uh, he he kind of he I think he buys some clothing. So I think they're called gin base. Like these, like with the little thing, I think like in this place. I don't know. That's like probably there to let air in or something. I don't know. It's something like that so yeah now the next scene oh boy here we go he is in the love hotel and we kind of get a little flashback as to how he reached there marin as always just i'm guessing she as, as she herself explains like she found that out she was like oh this is so cheap and this this place looks completely like the uh, character's bedroom so yeah let's get in there and she didn't even check she thought it was like a <laughs> photo studio or something she came here and at first she was surprised she was like wait a minute this place and then she just like all right yeah i guess we can work with this and just like you know just brushes it over and yeah they get in and mine as always is not at all like, you know <laughs> bothered by it and uh, yeah and she explains like yeah this was her mistake she didn't realize that this was actually a love hotel and she's like Anyways, like you know, like let's do it because obviously this is very cheap and since we're already here, let's just do it. And <laughs> he went. Oh, and she also talks about like you know, uh, girls just like you know having a little um group cosplay night out. I think that's what they call it. Yeah, and since these like you know love hotels are cheap, you know they they kind of like you know like, spend a night over here as a group. So that's why she also wanted to check this these plays out and this type of a place out, and uh, she's like, "Oh, this is this is fine, you know, like yeah." And they start like you know kind of discussing like you know what about the different random stuff, and they forget for a moment there. But Gojo's like, "Wait a minute, like that's not the problem here." <laughs> but anyways, mine as always brushes over all of it, and she's like, "All right, let's. I'm going to get dressed." and you just wait there oh my god that scene was hilarious you know that scene where <laughs> gojo just sit down and he's like okay wait a minute let me just uh, switch on the television i'm I can kind of uh you know like calm down a little bit switches on the television and as always like you know it's probably like you know um 
yeah like stuff we're playing <laughs> as you know and he's like oh wait a minute what is this switches it off and then he's like just a second um switches it on again and <laughs> reduces the volume <laughs> that scene was oh my god <laughs> oh no and he's like very attentively just watching it and it's like okay okay and then the mind comes in and he just shuts it down <laughs> okay the dress is extremely cute that was a really well, well done dress and he talks about how he like you know did a lot of research on succubus and he is a succubus master now you know <laughs> he has all the information about succubus and he's like okay like i've got to know that succubus are usually like you know the dresses are kind of used to make them look more um you know like uh what do you call it uh sexy but this this since this is like a size of life this type of a thing i decided to make it cute and he's like yeah this is this is like you know that type of a cosplay and i kind of went towards the cute department um and uh like he was kind of like you know being a little bit bothered he was like uh, did i do a good thing a like, correct thing or not because i don't even know how the dress is supposed to be you know like because the manga has not shown the dress properly so i just kind of did this on my own and man is like yeah it's fine completely and yeah obviously like you know this is that's basically cosplay you know like you can you can if you want to like you know change certain portions of your dress you can definitely do that you might feel like oh this is not like you know going well with this maybe if i do this i'll look more cuter so you can do that and uh it's, it's it's just you know completely on you you're free to do whatever you want to because this is your cosplay that you're making and um so and she's like yeah that that in itself is a very good thing you know where people kind of experiment in different ways and she also talks about how certain mangas and animes have different dresses which i also have like you know seen i think like you know like uh like the manga dress and the anime dress a little bit altered and everything and she's like it's completely fine so like each and uh, like you know every character like you know person's interpretation are different so they're free to experiment and do what they want to with their cosplays and that's what makes it fun like you know cosplay that's what makes cosplay so so much fun and okay what is this she's like you know there's an urban legend that keeping a condom in your wallet makes you rich what what <laughs> go to like what type of a thing is that and as all his mind is completely going crazy she's just he has no restraint she's just <laughs> And yeah, like, you know what, I, I, as I said, like, you know, we should, like, you know, like, we've been seeing this girl for these, like, you know, 11 episodes. And I think, yeah, we should probably get used to her <laughs> acting like this. <laughs> oh, my God. And, um, all right. Now, she, like, you know, he does the makeup and everything. And, oh, boy, she looks really amazing, you know, with the, like, the, with the little twin tails and the half twin tails, they call it, I think. Like the little horns that the elf ears or the like, you know, devil or demon ears, and uh, the little like, you know, like the makeup, the the, the red, uh, you know, hair and everything. She looks really good, and uh, here Gojo's like, oh, you look beautiful. No, he, uh, Gojo's like, it's beautiful, and she, she's like, wait a minute, this is the second time she's, he's, like, he's calling me beautiful. Gojo's like, you're weak, and she's like, wait, what? <laughs> But still, you know, like the wig in itself would not look beautiful, you know, since it is someone is wearing it. That's why it looks beautiful. So that means indirectly Gojo is calling her beautiful. So, you know, something like that, I guess. So that's a compliment towards her. Because as I said, you know, like a wig, you know, like a normal wig, obviously no, no one would call like, you know, that beautiful. I guess someone like you know like, like wigs are beautiful like you know if you look like in you know, certain different wigs but still when it's worn by people that's when it kind of shines more and yeah that means gojo uh you uh, know kind of gave that compliment to marin but Marin was like oh but anyways okay after that they are like all right i'm going to you can oh gojo brought some uh extra stuff 
you know, which they're going to use to uh, recreate the different uh, poses and everything. And there's like a hypnotizing thing, an eye patch, chocolate, energy drink, all these things. And mine first does the hypnotizing one. And Gojo is like, oh, this is amazing. You should do that again. And mine is like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it as much as you want it to. And okay. Like one thing I was, I'm pretty impressed by this, uh, like, you know, like I'm, as I'm watching it now, like the, you know, the scene where Gojo snaps the first picture where, uh, Marin is behind, uh, what do you call it? A pillow kind of looks like, like, you know, and kind of smiles. You can see upper left corner, there's a manga sc <laughs> screenshot. Gojo probably took that <clears throat> screenshot, uh, not screenshot, sorry, uh, like, you know, picture. Gojo probably took that as a reference picture and you know like that's like the, the part where they show the recent photos taken and you can see like you know the manga picture is there and I like that's like you know attention to details I guess because this is the first picture he's taking after like you know snapping the manga picture and snaps it and it changes to Marin's picture and yeah anyways I, I just noticed that it's kind of like you know I kind of was impressed by that little detail attention to detail and you know like the snap pictures like the one is like you know marin behind the pillow marin just kind of sleeping and like eating the chocolate you know and she's like just she's like oh this is amazing this keeps popping in more chocolates in her mouth <laughs> and uh okay and then gojo is like all right you need to do the lullaby and i knew this was going to happen at first, Gojo was like, oh, it's not coming properly your expression. So Gojo is completely in work mode now. He has forgotten that this is a love hotel and they're in this situation. He just lies down and is like, okay, come <laughs> on top of me and act as if I'm the main, like, you know, the main protagonist. And like, you know, you're singing a lullaby to me and I'm going to take a, a picture from this position. Yeah, Marin was like, all right, here you go. Like he, she stops there and does that. And it's, it's a fantastic picture, like amazing. And Marin is like, oh, this is so amazing. Like, you know, kind of diff different, uh, snapping different pictures, you know, like in different ways, in different angles, in different, you know, like uh, poses, like, you know, and doing cosplay and uh, snapping pictures, admiring them together. Like, this is so fun. I'm having the best time of my life and yeah that was happening and here we go the whole chaos starts from here um, um probably in the next room someone is doing their deed and uh, yeah the, the voice comes in and <laughs> gojo realizes where he actually is he comes out of work mode he's mine in front like, you know, just on top of him he hears the sound coming from the, the the next room and he's like oh boy and uh, yeah something happens you know um in the lower part of his body something happens <laughs> the way he freaks out okay um mine is like wait a minute what looks behind her <laughs> gojo it's like Kitagawa-san, I need you to get off me right now. Just screams it. <laughs> Jumps up her <laughs> stomach. <laughs> the animation in that part. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot. She screams out. <laughs> the phone drops. She puts her her hand on her mouth the f how the hell did that happen the phone dropped on the light switch the light goes down the the <laughs> i think i don't know that what that was that was probably like a feature of the bed the bed starts you know oh no no sorry uh he like, you know, sits up that's why the spring was kind of doing okay and mine is just hands in her mouth Gojo is just grabbing her stomach there's the light is out the 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 next room mm, yeah 
and uh, oh boy this situation we little by little we start hearing them breathing they're breathing like you know sound just comes up you know like uh, that's what i'm saying you know like this scene was not much skin was shown but it was different and i feel like them actually like you know may able to recreate this whole situation in such a good way is like a like you know what can i say like a props to them because as i said like you know, there's a lot of etchy animes going in like you know in the market but very few are able to recreate that atmosphere with minimal nudity and i guess they were able to make that in this episode in this final part like you can just hear the like you know the the tension just rising gojo just blushing mind blushing the 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 breathing just and obviously like not only the animation and everything the voice actors props to them as well they were able to uh, like, you know recreate this whole situation uh, and yeah this like this section was completely tension filled and uh, yes the, they were almost I'm guessing going to guess or something but oh boy yeah phone kun uh, you know phone kun is Cog blocks them, I guess you can say, and yeah, like obviously I know something was going to cog block them, and there you go, mm, ha that happened, and <laughs> and he's like, okay, this is <laughs> I, that part was hilarious. He was like, hello, this is Gojo dolls. No wait, <laughs> oh god, and mine just slowly, slowly kind of you know just goes away. <laughs> To the toilet and just sits there for a moment and gojo is also like yeah let's just cool down for a moment there they come out and some other people are getting in and the the lady who got in she's like oh these like you know look at this high schoolers you know like the springtime of youth and marine is kind of like you know like kind of do, like doing her hair and gojo's just bloodshot eyes just freaking out and yeah, after going home, Gojo starts bashing his head in with his head, uh, like a hand, and just, just, like, you know, just saying Kitagawa's name, like, Kitagawa-san, Kitagawa-san, Kitagawa-san. <laughs> My god, this episode was just, yeah, I mean, this was wild. This was wild, and wow, I can't believe this happened. <laughs> The next episode is going to be so awkward. Oh my god, I don't know what, what how they're going to speak to each other. <laughs> oh no. So yeah. So that's it. That was this episode. Fantastic episode, I'll have to say. Like you know, props to everyone, the animators, like the voice actors, the voice actresses, everyone. Like very well done. And that was a perfect episode. I just loved it. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below. Anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So that's it. This was episode number uh, 11 of My Dress Up Darling. Next episode is probably the final one. So see you guys next week again with the final episode. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.